haircuts, playgrounds, friends, shopping. Who's ready to come out of lockdown? Not everyone? Well, that's okay too. As the population heads back to work and school, we are beginning the transition back to life as normal. Normal? This sure doesn't feel like it. After a seven-week isolation period, we can't be expected to be unchanged by these unusual circumstances, whether for better or worse. Transitioning from the stay at home to the go on, get out there, just be careful phase of lockdown is exciting for many, yet stressful for some. Just as everyone had a different experience in lockdown, cramped or lonely, relaxed or sleepless, slumped or productive, the return to normalcy will be equally varied. If you're returning to the big bad world with vigour and enthusiasm, that's great. But there are also people who will struggle to adapt, carrying the weight of uncertainty and fear, financial and business worries, and social anxiety. Whether you're the former or the latter, both or neither, well, I guess that's everyone, we can all consider how to move through this stage with compassion for ourselves and others. What's behind your anxiety and fear? Named must your fear be, before banish it you can. Yoda Listen to the powerful Jedi Master. Through contemplation, meditation, discussion, or a creative activity, try to pinpoint your overriding emotions. What do you feel? Fear? Anxiety? Uncertainty? Anger? Agitation? Resentment? Limiting emotions may be trying to tell you something important. They are natural instincts that have your own safety and well-being in mind. Instead of trying to push them away, identify those emotions and really get to the heart of what they are trying to tell you. After all, we are living through a global pandemic, so they may not be unfounded. First, consider if they are reasonable and in proportion to your circumstances. Then, decide on what action you will take next. For example, if your fears are out of proportion, is it time to minimize your exposure to news and media? Conquering fear is defining fear. Seneca said, Set aside a certain number of days during which you shall be content with the scantiest and cheapest fear with coarse and rough dress, saying to yourself all the while, is this the condition that I feared? Keep yourself safe. If you're worried that other people aren't being careful with their behavior or hygiene practices, do what you can to keep yourself protected. Don't be afraid to put your health first. Set your boundaries. This applies to both physical distancing and other people's expectations of you. Speak up if someone is making you feel uncomfortable and remove yourself from an unsafe situation if you can. If someone is making demands on your time and energy, explain that you have limited capacity right now. I won't presume that's easy to do or possible in every situation. If an explanation is needed, have responses prepared so you don't find yourself floundering in the moment. Don't feel that you need to share details about your personal life. This is about setting boundaries for what people can expect from you at this time. Manage overwhelm. Notice how you respond to transitioning out of lockdown. Is it too much too soon? Acknowledge when you're feeling stretched or overcommitted, whether at work, school, home or socially. Delegate tasks if possible. Schedule your time. Rest up and practice self-care. It's hard to operate with an overactive nervous system, well for the long term anyway. It's okay to say no to an invitation or opportunity. Decline with grace and respect. 
there will be more opportunities in the future when you are in a better position to take it on. In Rising Strong, Brene Brown says, They say no when they need to, and when they say yes, they mean it. They are compassionate because their boundaries keep them out of resentment. Honour your own journey. Try not to compare yourself with others. Many of us are guilty of sharing photos of banana bread, decluttered wardrobes, Zoom chats, thousand piece jigsaw puzzles, homeschooling, camping trips in the backyard, home haircuts and fitness workouts. If your single biggest achievement was binging an entire Netflix show, changing out of your pyjamas or sending a thoughtful message to someone, good for you. Everyone rode this wave differently and it does nobody any good to compare the journey with anyone else's. So quit it. Be kind to others. There is no better remedy for anxiety and fear than self-compassion and empathy for others. Share what you're feeling with people in your life that you trust. Chances are you're not alone. Others feel it too. The more we can all open up and share our experiences around limiting emotions, the more we can support each other. Offer help to those who need it, if you have the capacity to do so. Lend an ear to someone who is feeling anxious at this time. Be mindful of people you encounter who seem to be agitated or dealing with anxiety. We don't know what others are going through right now. While we're transitioning out of lockdown, presume that everyone is doing their best and act with kindness first and keep doing that.